Hey guys, Eric Vasquez here from TeachMeToDesign.com. In day 13 of our 30 Tips in 30 Days video series, I want to jump into Illustrator and show you how to use a pretty cool feature called the Blend Tool. Alright guys, so most of the tips that we've covered so far in our 30 Tips in 30 Days series have been based on Photoshop, but I'd like to start incorporating some Illustrator tutorials as well just to give you guys uh, some other tips that you can use. And I know some of you guys might be new to Illustrator or maybe you've been using it for a while, but I'm going to try to show you things that you can do even if you're you know, relatively new to using this program. So um, as we go through these tips or if there's any specific things that you'd like to see me cover, uh, feel free to leave a comment or shoot us an email and let us know. Um, to start things off, I'm just going to start a new document here in Illustrator. It doesn't really matter what size. Um, and I'm going to grab my pen tool. Now, um, you'll notice over here, it looks kind of similar to Photoshop. But instead of having a foreground and background color, you've got a fill and a stroke color, which is basically just another name for an outline. All right, so you'll see there, I'm just clicking to make two points. Click, click. Pretty easy, right? or to get more of a curve you click and then click and hold and drag and that'll create some handles that will allow you to uh, further manipulate or change the direction of your your curves in Illustrator. That's kind of a basic rundown of how the pen tool works. Um, so all I'm going to do here is create one curve line and then create a second one that's a little bit different. right? And these are just kind of random shapes I just want to introduce you guys to the blend tool here so that I can show you uh, how cool it is and what it can do. Alright, I'm going to use the, uh, the white arrow, the direct selection tool, to click on my first point and kind of move it on top of the other point here so they overlap a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing here just so that it kind of looks like one continuous shape. Alright, from there I'm going to select all of this with my regular selection tool and come up here to the object menu down here where it says blend and we're going to go to blend options. Now the blend options will allow you to either do smooth transitions or you can do what is called specified steps or specified distance. For now we're going to do specified steps. I'm just going to change the setting here to about 12 and hit OK come back up here to the object menu and then blend make and you'll kinda of see what it's doing is transitioning from one shape to the other in about eight steps so that's kinda of cool you can do something like that or here's another great way to use the blend tool if I just type out a letter say I have the letter A I'm gonna make a copy of it which I'm doing just by holding down alt and shift and dragging to the side and now I'm going to change this letter to outlines, which will basically convert it to a shape. And you can do that by coming up to the type menu and doing create outlines. And that's just going to go from being, you know, a uh, type that we're able to, to modify to basically a, a shape, like I said, or a series of points. You can see all the points here on the shape itself. So if I now make a copy of that and put it somewhere over here, and select both of these shapes. We're going to do the same kind of blend. You'll see it's just kind of making a shape, right? Okay, so the basic idea is if these two shapes overlap each other, like so, we're going to move it up slightly like that. Make sure this shape is, you know, both of them are outlined, okay? And then we're going to select them both and come up back to blend, blend options. And now we're going to enter a larger number, say something like 100, and hit OK. Then we're going to, just going to go back and hit Make. And that kind of creates, say, a 3D um, kind of effect. You'll see if I put this letter back on top, bring it to the front, that it kind of adds like an extruded edge or, or you know something like that that kind of gives the appearance of a 3D shape. So that's another way that you can use the Blend tool. And uh, lastly, one more quick thing before I let you guys go. I just want to show you here with a, another shape. Let's see, we have a, a black fill 
and then we change it to an outline, you can also blend from a solid shape to an outline shape. Of course, we want to change our blend settings because we don't want that many steps. Let's say five. All right, and then in order to blend this, you can come back here to the object menu and hit blend make, or it'll show you the shortcut here. You can press uh, command option B on your keyboard, and that's gonna blend those two together. So I encourage you guys to uh, experiment with this a little bit, you know, play around with the positioning, the number of steps, and everything like that. And you can get some pretty cool uh, results, you know, especially if you start using the pen tool to trace images and, you know, just creating some weird and, and wacky shapes. And also experiment with the thickness of your lines. If you come over here to the uh, stroke option, you can increase it so that it's you know a little bit of a thicker outline and you know try something like that again you know it's just kind of a cool way to uh, create some lines and it can be a time saver especially if you're you know wanting to create multiple uh, lines with varying thickness like this um, but I look forward to showing you guys how to use this a little bit more in the future but for now, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how to use the Blend Tool in Illustrator. So thanks for watching today's tip. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter and let us know how we can help you design better.